Hello, and thanks for joining us this evening for Trout Camp Live, Caltrout's 21st annual gala and auction. I'm Craig Ballinger here at Shasta Springs Trout Camp on the Upper Sacramento River. And let's face it, things are different this year. While we're not at the Four Seasons, where I should be reminiscing and telling stories with my friends, a shout out to all of you, except maybe the cuz table. For once, you won't be disrupting the evening like a bunch of high school kids from Redwood High, although one of you is from Cleveland. And while this isn't the Four Seasons, the Trout Camp shares many of the same characteristics. A place where friends gather around the fire, tell lies, have a great dinner, have a cocktail or two or 10, and talk about the great work that we've been able to accomplish at California Trout, which is exactly what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna throw another log on the fire, but let's get this show on the road. I'd like to introduce fellow Mount Shasta Bear, Executive Director of California Trout, Curtis Knight. Hello everyone. Welcome to Trout Camp Live. Thank you, Craig, for that wonderful introduction. Uh, keep that fire burning. We're going to be checking back in with you later this evening. We certainly miss seeing you all in person, uh, but really appreciate you being here with us virtually. So welcome and thank you for coming. Now, typically on this first Friday in May, we gather in San Francisco to celebrate our shared purpose of supporting California trout and the work that we do to protect wild rivers, and healthy fish. Uh, but this year, of course, uh, it's different times. We, like many, have had to make some decisions uh, about uh, events like this. And we were faced with making a decision to either cancel or postpone or try something we've never done before. And in this case, we are trying something we've never done before. So I am here in Dunsmere on the banks of the Upper Sacramento River. I'm happy to report it's a beautiful day in the watershed. Uh, so there's just a few of us here in a small studio. I'm here with uh, Diesel. And if anybody knows Diesel, they know that uh, he has a partner. His partner is a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a Caltrout board member. Most of you know him as the owner of Lost Coast Outfitters, George Ravel. Come on in, George. Curtis, so great to be here with uh, Caltrout, and it's a shame that we're not all together this year, but uh, we're going to make the best of it, and we're going to bring that camaraderie we normally have and bring it online to our viewers at home. We are going to do it, and we're going to do it by uh, uh, staying apart from each other. Uh, it's uh, obviously serious times and we take that seriously so George will never be more than six feet away from me not even close is that six feet that's that's at least nine well how big is that that's 24 inches according to most well, then we're, <laughs> we're, we're <laughs> tracking each other there <laughs> all right and then the other thing we want to say too is what if things start to go wrong well, we've got these uh, Trout Camp enamel right. cups with tequila in them and whiskey and uh, we're gonna take a sip and we would encourage all of you to do that. If we have any glitches or anything, relax and take a sip. Thank you. And every time Curtis says future, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which actually brings us to our, our next topic. So thanks for that reminder. Uh, but first. Yeah, first, um, our hearts go out to everyone who's been affected by coronavirus, which is most all of us, uh, some more than others. And we hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. We're fully aware there are immediate and pressing needs out there, and we hope that everyone is in contributing in whatever way they can, especially for our frontline healthcare workers, our small businesses, and others directly affected by the virus. Yeah, I mean, thanks, George. I mean, it, we'll get through this. Uh, for us at Caltrout, uh, we keep on keeping on, 
and it feels right. The work we do, the work all you make happen is as important now as it ever was. And it's been a big year for Caltrap. We've built tremendous momentum. Scale and the impact of our projects continues to grow. For the first time really in our history, we have major projects from the Eel River all the way down to Southern California steelhead streams. A lot of this is being fueled by government grant funding. We've secured over $20 million just in this past year. That's a magnitude more than in past years. But it's important to understand that those projects, that funding, it doesn't happen without you. Your support allows us to identify and develop the opportunities, to build the partnerships, and conduct the science. It starts with you, and especially on this important night, our annual gala and auction. So thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to get to it. Uh, the theme this evening is future generations. <laughs> <laughs> Along with some inspiration, um, we'll have some great fun tonight. And we'll be checking in with the Caltrout community through Zoom meetings. Um, we'll be highlighting our work and keeping tabs on the auction. We also have a few surprises lined up as well. Um, yeah. It's, well, it's going to be a fun night. It's going to be great. I think we're going to have a ton <laughs> of fun, uh, and the surprises definitely will be there. Um, but before we go too far, let's reach out to, let's, let's just give a shout out to our sponsors, um, our Trout and Steelhead sponsors, and our, uh, one thing I want to emphasize about sponsors in general is that you all stayed with us. This shift from a, a in-person event to this virtual event, we lost no sponsors, we gained sponsors, and those that have been with us tended to pump up and, and sponsor at even higher level. So really, we can't appreciate that more. Our river sponsors have been with us. We appreciate that. Um, and finally, our watershed sponsors. These are our top level sponsors. So Auric, uh, hundreds of hours of pro bono uh, uh, work that they've done for us yeah. on the Potter Valley Project. Their chairman and CEO, Mitch Zuckley, uh, couldn't appreciate it all more, Mitch, uh, being a top-level sponsor. Scott and Heather Tucker, uh, thank you for all you do for Caltrout. And then Linda and Andy Ash and the Landers family. These two families are so close to Caltrout and, and everything we do. They've been with us for since the beginning. Their support is really generational support, so we appreciate having uh, that top-level support from them. And we're going to be checking in with Linda and the Landreth family a little bit later. Right on. And part of what makes this evening so special um, are the great trips that we have lined up for you. Um, guides and outfitters, they're having one of the most difficult times they've ever experienced. You know, they're all accustomed to having some high water months where they're not able to fish, um, but something like this is truly unprecedented. So for them to come up and not know how they're gonna have, how they're gonna pay rent, their mortgages next month, um, to give and donate to Caltrout says so much. So. A huge thank you to Clearwater Lodge. Michelle Titus, you've always been so good to uh, Caltrout, and we mm. thank you a lot. Chocolate Lab Expeditions has a great trip down to South America that we'll talk about later. Lost Coast Outfitters, um, and many others like AC Fly Fishing, Jason Hartwick, Jimmy Morales, Dave Neal, John Fischetti, uh, Stoke Ventures, just to name a few. But there's plenty more. Please check them out in the live auction. Yeah, that's incredible. I that mean, is. we all know what you all are going through in the outfitting and guiding community right now. Uh, so we couldn't appreciate that support. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Um, that support, all those sponsorships, allow us to keep sprinting forward, removing barriers to fish migration, reshaping how California's waters are managed with innovative science-driven work, and shaping meaningful legislation down in Sacramento. Here's a bit of what that work looks like. At California Trout, we believe healthy fish indicate healthy waters, and healthy waters lead to a better California for future generations. In 2017, we released our State of the Salmona report that sounded the alarm bells regarding the status of California's native salmonids. The findings? 45% of our trout, steelhead, and salmon will be extinct in 50 years, 75% in 100 if present trends continue. But the report also provided a roadmap to return our native fish to resilience, defining our key initiatives, and informing our work moving forward. That has been Caltrout's North Star for the past three years. 
In answering that call to arms, we have scaled up. We have increased our intensity, we've raised the bar, we've aimed high, and as a result, we have achieved new milestones with greater impact. Leading with sound science to inform our restoration and policy solutions, we've remained focused on our key initiatives. Protecting the best, California still has amazing places. Let's keep them that way. From increasing genetic and geographic diversity to recover endangered southern steelhead, to setting stream flow standards that work for fish and people on the South Fork Eel, to tracking and sampling wild trout to improve fisheries management on the Fall River. But at the same time, much of California has been altered. We're finding innovative solutions to balance the needs of fish and people by reestablishing resilient wild fish populations within managed landscapes. We've increased the scale of our innovative fish food project. We're working with landowners in the Mid Klamath Basin to restore key tributaries prior to the Klamath dams coming out. And we're getting people connected to nature too, working with local youth and education groups to engage the next generation in fly fishing and conservation. At the same time, the SOS report identified critical important habitat for wild fish recovery. We're ensuring water security for fish and people by protecting and restoring vital source water areas in the Sierra and Shasta region. And estuaries, up and down the coast, they provide critical habitat for spawning and rearing salmon and steelhead. Like the estuary at the mouth of the Eel River, Cannibal Island, where we're restoring the tidal marsh. Or Pescadero Marsh, where we're working with the Department of Fish and Wildlife to tag and monitor fish to help inform management and restoration practices. And finally, dams out, reconnecting fish from the ocean to the headwaters. These projects are big and long-term, but we've continued to make significant progress all around the state to open up habitat for our native fish. We're staying on course with tribes and many others to execute on the largest dam removal effort in U.S. history. We're creating headwaters to the ocean access for endangered southern steelhead. And we're working to remove Scott Dam on the Eel River, giving endangered coho and chinook access to critical habitat. We've reached these new heights together. Our partners, our funders, and you, our Caltrout community, have lifted us up. You inspire us and challenge us to charge forward. Thank you. All right, that, uh, that gives you some visuals, gives you some, some uh, uh, tour up and down the state of some of the projects that we are working on right now. And what I wanna do is introduce you to our staff, the people that make it happen. They are an amazing group of, uh, 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 there's 30 of us throughout the state, and I think we have most of them here on a Zoom call. There they are. Hey. So. Welcome staff, everybody give a wave. Give a wave. Hey. Hey. Great it's great wave. to see you. Can we wave? So, and what's, <laughs> what's great about this is I thought I was gonna say they're all muted, but it looks like we just got somebody <laughs> jiving into there, but it's great to have an all muted staff. I think I can go with this for a while. probably Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> what I wanna do is introduce uh, our staff by region. So. Let's start with, we're up here in the Shasta Klamath region where our director is Drew Bra. Drew and your team, give away. Everybody that's working with Drew up in the Shasta region, there it is, okay. Uh, you, you can just keep it on, um, there we go. All right, thanks Drew for being here and I see Sam and Maddie too are here and Paula, great to see you guys. Uh, and then Jacob Katz, Jacob runs our, um, there's Jacob, Jacob, Who's with you, Jacob, and your team, Jacob Montgomery. Um, thanks, you guys, for Central Valley work, fish in the rice fields. A uh, lot of supporters of Jacob, I know, tuning in tonight. Thanks, Jake, for all your work. Our staff attorney, Reggie Collins, is here. Reggie on the far right. Patrick Samuel, our Bay Area manager, is here. Patrick, 
All right, thank you. Mike Weir, uh, some of you may have seen a Mike Weir video or two uh, over his days. Mike Weir's here. That's awesome. Okay, let's go to the next page. So the South Coast Region, our South Coast Director, Sandy Jacobson, give a wave. And now go back, and now go back one. Go back, to the go back to the other one. There we go. And Russell Marlowe in our Ventura office. Give a wave, Russell. Great. So hopefully you all can see that. The North Coast. Let's talk about the North Coast. Darren's going cowboy today here on the bottom. <laughs> Way to go, Darren. And Darren, your team. Anybody there? There's rain. All right. Thank you all for waving. I think that covers all the region. Well, San Francisco. Well, then, of course. So we've got, you know, Tracy, who's, where's Tracy? Tracy's not on here. Uh, Tracy, Gaby, Alan. Um, San Francisco team does such an incredible job make, running this whole thing. It's, it's really incredible to see. Go back to the other one real quick. Is Alan on? Where's Alan? No. What? Okay. So we're missing our finance director, but... Um, oh, Tracy's, oh, Tracy's on, on now. There's there's Tracy on the bottom. Tracy's All right, down. development and communications. Tracy, Ashley, Gaby, Gaby. where's Gaby? There's Gaby right there. Yep. Gaby, <laughs> Gaby is on point for a lot of these grants we talked about. So Gaby and your team. Gaby, your Gaby, your team. All right, I think they're all on the other page. Anyway, you get the idea. We have an incredible staff. I love each and every one of them. And the thing that impresses me probably the most about them is, uh, well, a lot of things, but the amount of responsibility that each one of them carries to move this whole ship forward is just truly remarkable. So our staff, one more wave goodbye. Thank you, staff. <laughs> have fun tonight. Right, guys. All right, see y'all. Okay. Um, George, yes, we have an auction going we on. We do, and it is absolutely blowing up right now. There's been a lot of activity over the past uh, what, almost two weeks now, and it's uh, it's going crazy right now. And uh, that was Nate, one of our finance people. <laughs> Nate, good to hear from you. <laughs> uh, uh, but the auction is going crazy, so yeah, we're going to check in on some of the items. We've got bidding wars going on, all sorts of things happening, but we should probably explain how to get to the auction, right? Yes, so we should. If you're watching in full screen, if you leave full screen uh, and scroll below where we are playing here in your, uh, on your browser, you can click the um, bid in the online auction, and that will open it up in a separate window, and that will allow you to bid on some of these items. Um, just to highlight a few, we have a uh, cow trout uh, engraved, uh, Galvan Reel, made right here in California. The Galvan family was very generous and donated this. Um, current, win, uh, current bid is $430 by Leon Septicki. Yeah, Leon. I think it's worth All more. Right. Um, so let's, uh -oh. uh, let's bid that up. Sorry, Leon. Oh, Leon. Um, <laughs> and then well, we have- uh, Stay with us, Leon. We have a painted cooler that uh, Sarah Landstrom uh, painted up for- This is incredible. It's incredible. Um, and we've had a bidding war going on for about the last hour between uh, Mitch Zuckley and Corey Robertson, and it's currently at three thousand dollars. So uh, wow. thank you, Mitch and Corey, Mitch. for uh, and Sarah for making that yeah. happen. And, yeah, Sarah, uh, thank you. That thing is beautiful, and others seem to think at least two yeah, people. At seem least to two think people that. are so, yeah. enthralled by it. That's great, um, Mitch and Corey. Keep going. And then we have a couple others. We have uh, the Klamath River, uh, a premier lot. Uh, current winner is Fraser Preston at five k, and we'll, we'll talk be checking more, on that. Yeah, in we'll a talk more yep. about that because yep. that's a really incredible one. Um, but we also have art. Um, we have some really beautiful uh, paintings and, and all sorts of things. Tons of great wine and uh, great trips around the country. So check in on those auction tabs, um, bid, and let's get this going. Yeah, it's been amazing to watch the flurry of activity just yeah, in the last, last uh, hour. Yeah, hour, basically. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's cool to see. Thank you all for that. Right now, it's my pleasure to introduce Caltrout's chairman of the board, Paul Vase. Thanks, Curtis and George. On behalf of Caltrout's Board of Directors, I want to welcome you to Virtual Trout Camp. Thanks for showing up. Typically, this event draws 400 people to a ballroom at the San Francisco Four Seasons Hotel. It's an evening of inspiration, giving, and fun. While it's a different format this year, we still hope to inspire you, and I think you're going to have some fun. So in many ways, it's like a regular gala, except it's BYOB in the privacy of your own home and lacks the hassle of driving the city on a Friday night. That sounds pretty good to me. Now this year, under these unusual circumstances, your support of Caltrout is more important than ever. The threat to healthy California water and our native fish is not taking time off, and we cannot afford to hit pause, especially now 
since Cal Trout is on such a roll. We don't want to throttle back. We want to stomp on the gas and keep on going. Because across California, we have superb regional directors deployed. They champion science, build consortiums, and make landscape scale change happen. From the Eel River estuary, the environs of Mount Shasta, through the Central Valley, the Sierras and the Bay Area, all the way to Southern California steelhead streams, we're having an impact up and down the state. You'll hear about some of these projects tonight. And in San Francisco, our central office team focuses on communications, fundraising, finance, and legal matters. It's a lean and mean group and very productive. All of these efforts are led by our experienced and super capable executive director, Curtis Knight, who keeps us aligned to our strategic plan and is a source of inspiration to us all. Now, when I say we're on a roll, this is what I'm talking about. We've been pursuing our mission for nearly 50 years, but we've never been as capable as we are right now. In the last year alone, we secured over 20 million in government grants for conservation projects in California. That's the most we've ever raised and is a multiple of any amount we've raised over a comparable period in the past. It's amazing. To put that money to work, we need to keep our funding at or above historical levels, which is where you can help. With funding in place, we'll get that good work done and raise even more funds for future impact down the road. So thanks for coming and helping out tonight. It is super meaningful. When you support Caltrout, you're backing a winner, making a big difference for future generations. And now, it's my honor to introduce Congressman Jared Huffman, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. His district spans the entire north coast of California, from the Golden Gate Bridge to the Oregon border. Jared is a friend and a longtime key ally to California trout. So thank you all for coming, and over to you, Congressman Huffman. Hi, everyone, and thanks for that great introduction, Paul. Welcome to Caltrout's 21st Annual Gala. And since this is the first ever live stream event, I wanted to appear with a picture of my favorite live stream behind me. I hope you appreciate that. The Caltrout organizers and everyone who helped pull this event together deserve a special thanks for their hard work and their adaptability to make this happen. Today you're joining me and Caltrout to invest in a sustainable future for our fisheries and future generations. That's the theme of today's event. And we've made such great strides in promoting sustainable fishery and water management in California, work that is coupled with ongoing projects that will have far-reaching impacts well beyond our lifetimes. My staff and I right now are full steam ahead in our district, ensuring that federal funds are available to those who need them most, including our nation's fishing communities. I'm working with colleagues in Congress to secure the immediate allocation of relief for families, businesses, and workers fighting to guarantee that our rural and native communities are equally prioritized as we work together to defeat this pandemic. And although we are currently on hold due to shelter in place orders, I've spent much of the last year and a half traveling around this country for my Magnus and Stevens reauthorization listening tour. Those of you that love anadromous fish know that the Magnuson Act is our nation's keystone law for managing federal marine fisheries. And so I wanted to hear from folks around the fishing world about what's needed to sustainably manage commercial and recreational fishing. I'm excited to pick this work back up just as soon as I can, and maybe even doing some of it virtually. But in the meantime, I'm continuing to lay the groundwork for science-based, environmentally informed fishery management policy, especially policy that responds to the glaring needs of this pandemic. I've been focused on keeping the fishing sector afloat right now, but also, we have to look to the long-term recovery, watershed restoration, and coastal resilience that we know we're going to need going forward. I'm working on these national policies, but we also have work right here in our backyard. For the last several years, Caltrout has been a vital partner of mine in working toward a two-basin solution for the Eel and Russian rivers, which are connected to PG&E's Potter Valley project. I'm pleased to say that our work together has really advanced and we have a historic coalition now working to take over this project. This will do great things for the river and fish while maintaining a run of the river diversion that works for the water needs from the Russian River Basin. I'd also like to briefly mention an important bill that we got out the door this year with the support of Caltrout. It's the Salmon Fish Act which will establish a nationwide grant program to protect high-quality salmon habitat from degradation and support 
positive conservation efforts already being done in salmon watersheds. We're making great strides, and already we've held a hearing in my subcommittee on this bill. Now, these are unprecedented times, but for those of us who care deeply about healthy fish and healthy waters, we have a chance over the coming weeks and months to really make a difference. All of this work, the dam removal, sustainable water management practices, and ongoing advocacy that Caltrout does allows us to support flourishing fisheries, thriving rivers, and pristine coasts for future generations. So thank you again for inviting me to join you virtually. I wish all of you good health and a good catch when we can finally get back on the water. And now back to you, Curtis. Man, we're really lucky to have Paul Vase as our uh, committee leader for the board. It's, it's really incredible um, to have him <laughs> in charge of our board. Um, and how about Jared Huffman? Yeah, uh, w yeah, we couldn't be more lucky to have uh, a congressman like Jared representing such an important part of the world, really, this, this North Coast section. Paul mentioned how it's uh, the Golden Gate up to Oregon. That is salmon and steelhead country, George. That is. You, you've been there? It's nice to have you've it in <laughs> such good hands. <laughs> it's nice to have it in such good hands. So, so Jared, thank you for that message. Paul, right on. Now let's uh, let's take a quick check into another another big part of the Caltrout community right now. We're going to go to another another call here on the screen, and it looks and like it looks like we have Steve and Lobo Johnson. Uh, Steve, wow, and I see a lot of Steve. How are you? All good. How are you? We're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing well. So I'm trying to get people to mute, but you know, hey, what can Steve, I tell you? your crew to mute the live stream, or tell you you should mute the live stream. <laughs> I, already I think everybody else is on mute. There we go. Now we can hear you better. So Steve, hey. this is an impressive-looking group. Who do you have here? We well, we have Andrew Phelan from the Water Foundation. We have David Manning hey. from Sonoma Water, Kelly Cook who works for us, David Moser who is number two always for the uh, Five Rivers Challenge. Ryan Stranko, who used to be the executive director of ProCDU. Leslie oh, Pena, well, I remember that. Best partner. <laughs> Jared Huffman, who's our congressman, who you just heard from. Brian Johnson, who's the California director of uh, TU. Chris Chernell, uh, DWR, and, uh, and Armando Cotero, who's from the Water Foundation. Wow. That is uh, in a very impressive group. So Congressman Huffman, uh, that was a great message. Thank you for doing that. And I see you're buffed out and caltrouted out. Yep. I've been uh, doing a lot of this, Curtis, to uh, stay <laughs> safe. Thank you for the caltrout gator. It's a wonderful multi-purpose device. <laughs> Who knew it would be a safety measure? <laughs> well, thanks for joining. I hope you're having fun with Steve's party. There's a couple other people. I want to give a shout out to Dave Manning. Who's not on, is Dave in? Dave Manning up on the right. Dave and Natalie, hello. We miss seeing you in person. Dave is with Sonoma Water Agency. They're a sponsor tonight. So Dave, thanks for doing that. Grant, the whole team at Sonoma Water. We've been working closely with Sonoma Water on the Potter Valley Project. Has been a ton of fun. Um, I also want to highlight the two Bryans. We know them better as BJ and Stank Dog. And they are... Uh, <laughs> Collectively, Trout Unlimited and the Nature Conservancy are, are really our two biggest partners in the state. And when the three of us team up, we get a lot done. And you're going to hear more about our Salmon and Steelhead Coalition uh, moving forward. We've created this coalition for the three of us to work on in-stream flows, leverage policy in California. And um, it's amazing what the three groups can do when they're working together. Andrew Fallon with the Water Foundation, huge supporters of Caltrout for a long time. Leslie's with Steve. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> and Kelly Cook, it's good to see you. I don't know why you have Steve behind you. He's right next to you. You got to get away from that guy. Chris Janelle is at the Department of Water Resources in Sacramento. We've worked with Chris for a long time. Thanks for joining, Chris. And Armando, it's good to see you. Armando's a, a past almost winner of the Five Rivers Challenge. <laughs> I think his partner held him down. Yeah, great to see you, Curtis. Thanks, thanks, Curtis. All right, All right Lobo. Oh, and Dave Moser. How did I forget Dave Moser? 
Dave Moser is also an uh, almost winner of the Five Rivers Challenge. And the common with number two, the, uh, twice. Yeah, oh, twice. <laughs> well, they were always your partner. <laughs> yeah, that tells you something right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hey, I hope you guys enjoy the evening. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Thanks, Coach. All right. It's great to have that many uh, good friends in the right places, oh, man. isn't it? <laughs> that, that was an amazing, uh, yeah. that's an amazing crew. So uh, let's we gotta, play a game. Yeah, we got a little game to play. Yeah. So uh, we're going to put up a photo on this screen that, that'll be a river. Um, and you need to text your name and the name of that river to 510-214-6820. So you should see that on the bottom of the screen right now. So 510-214-6820. Text your name and the name of the river. So let's take a look at the first river. Well, look at that. Nondescript angler. Looks like it's fall. It looks fall. Looks like he's got a spay rod in his hand. So that might be a Ooh, little, a little uh, a indication. That's a tell. Um, looks like a big river to me too. It does look like a big river, a big, beautiful river. Nothing. nothing. We, we got yet. nothing. Okay. So we still. Oh, oh, we got one. We have a winner. We got a winner. Well, we haven't said what the winner gets. Well, so why let's don't do you that right me? now. You get a Trout Camp Live Appreciation Kit, which gets you a picnic blanket, a handy flask, which is very nice, wrapped yeah. in leather, and then of course with your flask you get a mug, which George and I have been drinking out of since what noon? Yeah. No, yes. <laughs> yeah. Better but part. But have a sip while we're there. Yeah. And the winner uh, for this is Andy Grubbs. So thank you, Andy. Did a great Andy, job. Andy, all right. So Andy we're Grubbs. gonna we're gonna continue this throughout the evening. We have a lot of pictures, and on the last one, we're giving away a fly rod. So stay tuned. So the Klamath River oh, brings us to speaking of the Klamath, one River. of our premier auction items, the Klamath River Club. Tom and Annette counts. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky enough to uh, spend every year, I spend some time on that property and it's absolutely spectacular. So here's the details of this auction item. Right now, it's going for five grand. Fraser Preston is the current oh. leader on that. Um, so the deal is you get six people for two days of fishing guided by Wild Waters guides, John and Chuck um, at Wild Waters, some of the Amazing. best guides on the river. Um, so that's huge. You'll be on their very beautiful property in tent cabins with little potbelly stoves in them, loaded with firewood right on the river. Uh, this beautiful pavilion uh, will have you for wow. dinner. Nice, one of the best fireplaces now that Tom got it redone. Um, and it has an <laughs> epic dining table, awesome kitchen, and showers back here in the back part. So you will be uh, roughing it in style for sure. That's amazing. Um, and plus, uh, Drew Bra is going to take you up on a restoration uh, tour of some of the, the dam removal. There he is right now. There's Drew. All right. Yeah, so you're going to tour the Shasta Valley and see some of our projects there. The dates are set, though. That's so an important point. November 6th through the 9th, which is good news because that's prime steelhead season. So... Um, Five grand kind of seems like a steal at this point. Uh, you know, just getting the guides would cost that alone for yeah. six people almost, yeah. you know. So let's John Rickard, Chuck Volkhausen, Klamath, the best. Yeah. So you, this, is a, this is a great trip. Fraser Preston at 5K right now. That's not going to last. We have less than a half an hour left yeah. in the auction, too. Bid, so bidding keep track ends of at, that one. Bidding ends at eight. And, um, well, we've been working pretty hard here. I think, I think we're busy. I think we need a moment of zen. We definitely do. As an old Austrian mountain guide once told me, Craig, never trust the weather. On another trip, he told me, Craig, if it looks easy, it's hard. If it looks hard, it's damn near impossible. Out here on the river, Temperatures are warming. Snow is melting up on the Trinity Divide. Dogwoods are in blossom and the seasons are changing right before our eyes. There's even a bit of a mayfly hatch. I feel better. Yeah, I do too. But, that, <laughs> but that's not what the Austrian guide told me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
who is that guy? Well, I'm sure most of you are wondering who that ruggedly handsome gentleman is who keeps <laughs> speaking to you. Craig is, he's like the caretaker of Trout Camp up in Dunsmuir. He's a guide, naturalist, historian, all around pontificator and great guy for Cal Trout. Craig is amazing and we will be checking back in with him. We have, we're not done with Craig yet. Frequently. Uh, but we are gonna check in with another uh, really special part of the Cal Trout community. Let's check in with the Landreth family. Bill Landreth and his entire crew, there they are. Hey, all right, Bill, uh, this is a great looking crew. Who do you have there with you? Hi, Kurt. Well, we, we, have got a lot of great, we have a lot of great fishermen here. We got Leon Septic, who's off in Virginia. He's up hey. late tonight. He's bidding. He's bidding. I see, we see that. We got, yeah, we got him out. Deborah and Bill Juiced up in Nicasio. We got Ian Arthurs, who's had a great dinner, Ian. <laughs> we have Peter, I'm sure Peter is bidding on the Klamath River. Craig, yeah, good. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. All right. Great to see you. Curtis, great to Curtis. see you. Curtis, we've just got one complaint. <laughs> Curtis? Yeah, I, we hear you, Bill. What's your, you can't complain. What's the complaint about? We need more. We need more wine at our table, Curtis. This is all we got left. <laughs> we need more wine. Okay. All right. Just in case you didn't get the message, don't drink that, Bill. Yeah. yeah. Just in case you didn't get that. I'll right. put somebody right on it. Well, hey, uh, Lander family, this crew, we fish together every September. We we uh, we think we missed it last year. We're going to get together this year, so look forward to seeing you on the river soon. Thanks for joining us tonight. Take care. Right, guys, thanks Take for care. joining. <laughs> All right, that was fun. The Landers yeah, family, they're, they're that's some, that was their awesome, awesome people. Um, and we, uh, it's really fun to check in with the Caltrout community. It's really fun to play games. That it is. We've got another river for you. Maybe it's not a river. Maybe Ooh. it is a river. Um, get your get your text ready. This this photo is taken by one of the all time greatest fly fishing photographers, Val Atkinson, and uh, let's see what that river is. Ooh. Oh yeah, I mean, I think I would like to be that angler on that point right there. That that is a uh, that's a postcard in fly fishing, that and is. we should get some uh, we should get some text really quickly on this one. Um, nope. Spring, nope, no text nope. yet? False, false alert. False alert. Well, it's nope. a spring creek. It is a spring creek. Um, uh, it's uh, it's, it's got some warm springs. We got one. Oh, we got one. And we got a winner. First we got a one's winner. a winner. We got you a winner. You guys got to be on these texts. This one is a SoCal favorite. And Curtis Fong. Yes. What's up, Curtis? Nice awesome. job. Right on. So you That's won excellent. Uh, the Caltrout Live Survival Pack, uh, and we'll get that sent on to you. Um, and many other Keep things. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thank you. That's uh, that's fun stuff. With uh, so when I look at Hot Creek yeah. in that photo, yeah, you could be anywhere. Yeah. It really reminds me of how special California is and all the places we have. That's a long Absolutely. way from a North Coast steelhead stream, mm -hmm. but it's all here in California. And you could say that even look maybe that could pass as Patagonia. Yeah. I, you could be in Patagonia in that photo, but speaking of Patagonia. Speaking of Patagonia. Speaking of Patagonia, we have an awesome auction item uh, donated by Chocolate Lab Expeditions. It does have set dates, um, which are pretty awesome dates for South America. Um, January, uh, January 3rd through January 8th um, down in Pan Patagonia is about as good as it gets. So two anglers mm -hmm. will float and wade private access waters over six days on the Colancura and the Chimuayan rivers. Um, it's all inclusive. Uh, I think you just have to fly down there, right? That's, yep. that's all you got to do. You just got to get um, there. So pictures are stronger than words. So let's check out the video. Yeah. From meadow spring creeks running off the spine of the Andes to massive tailwaters out in the high desert steppes, we invite you to a fly fishing adventure on uncrowded waters with top tier guiding in some of the finest Estancia lodges in all of South America. Most first time clients are amazed by the surprising lack of pressure, the pristine clear Patagonia waters, and the quality of the fishing and food. But many clients return year after year as they fall in love with the country, the Argentine people, traditional asados, 
and fishing as much as they want on a relaxed schedule. By using a fleet of road drift boats, we can carry multiple rods to easily switch tactics and make the most of each opportunity on the river. Targeting rising fish behind the willows and hidden in the riffles is a passion of our operation. Due to the lack of pressure, our fishing isn't that technical. We don't fish 6x, and you can make an errant cast or drag the fly a bit and still have multiple shots at targets. In the morning when I rise And it comes as no surprise Well, that looks good. Yeah. I want to go there. Pretty incredible. Yeah. And, uh, and there was a little bit of bidding that just happened. Tony Price is the current uh, leaderboard on that at 10K. But the, right, bidding, the bidding goes until uh, 8 o'clock. Um, we do have a five-minute rule, so you can't, nobody can go in and snipe it at the last minute. So uh, if somebody goes in the last five minutes and bids on it, it's going to continue for another five minutes after 8. And that's going to go on. So it could go on forever. It could, theoretically, <laughs> could go on forever. So it's, I see it's 742. So we just have a little over 15 minutes till yep. all the bidding closes. Let's check in on a couple of other auction yeah, items. We're George, what else we got? We're talking about a lot of big items and we yeah. have a lot of smaller items too. We have over a hundred items in there. So a couple of great ones. We have the uh, Monterey Surf Trip um, with uh, Evan Praskin from Stoke Ventures. We work with him yeah. at the shop. He's a great guide. So if you're interested in getting into surf fishing, it's a no brainer. Right now, $800, um, which is great. Uh, Joseph Murray, thank you so much for that bid. We have a loop spay outfit uh, currently at $1,000, uh, $1,050 with uh, David Drake. And uh, there is an awesome Duncanberry Chinook and Pacific yeah, Herring beautiful. wood print that is absolutely gorgeous. Duncanberry is uh, one of my all time favorite artists. Um, and uh, we call this a Goyu Taku uh, print, I believe. Um, and Mitch <laughs> Nicely done. currently has it at 500. So um, yeah, that, way to go Mitch. Extraordinary piece. So let's bid those up. Um, and we have some people to check in with, right? We do. We are going to check back in with some more of our Cal Trout community. Uh, we're going to check in with Linda Ash in her uh, amazing looking party here. <laughs> so excellent, excellent. Linda excellent. And Linda and Andy look like, look like they are partying. What is up? <laughs> we are here. We are the San Juan Sippers. I like it. That's very good. <laughs> we are what, uh, the San Juan Sippers. Great. Can you hear us, Curtis? Yeah, but if you mute your live stream, that would be, we could hear you even better. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. You muted everything. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, Linda, Tanya this is a great looking crew. Who else do you have here? So, we've got Tanya, and I think we've got her son Max with them. Michael, <laughs> Michael was in the <laughs> somewhere, but he's um, in the car somewhere. He's at uh, Grandzilla's driving up north somewhere. <laughs> and Ken and Curtis. Hey. And we've got you know, Ken and Angela. Good to see you. We've got Patsy Ishiyama here in the city. Hello, we've got Nina and Gates and Jeff Motlow over there with all the worms all over the place. They have a lot of them. <laughs> we've got Amelie and Dan and Ben and James all together. Hey guys. The whole crew. And we lost. Oh, there's Loretta. You're back. There you Loretta, are. Yeah, Loretta. Oh, I you like that. Okay. Right. Cheers. Did I miss anyone? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We, yeah. And we got we yeah we got the uh, we got the gates. I think you got everyone, Linda. That's a great looking crew. Is there a San Juan sipper signature drink, or is everybody drinking something different? Everyone's drinking whatever they want. It was their choice. We all followed some of the Calchow guidelines, though. I thought That's some great. some of the drinks were pretty good that you came up with. I got my great shirt from the. Nice. All right. Angela's sporting a Caltrout shirt. Like to see that. Thank you, Angela. And That's great. And Ken's got the Caltrout hat. I think we're covered there. Excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs> yes. And I think that I'm just drinking the Golden Trout Tonic. So we're all just <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, That's a new one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very fun list. Well, good. Well, we hope that you all are enjoying the evening and we're going to get back to it. So I hope you keep watching on the live. But we're so happy to see your faces. Thanks for checking in. Thank you.
Okay, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Great right. to see them. That was fun. That was fun. All right, let's get another uh, Val Atkinson. I could look at his photos I know. all day long. Well, he sells his photos too. I've heard. And this. we had a few for auction yes. as well, I think. Yes. Um, and you can yes. get any of his photos printed yes. up, which is great. Support Val. He's an amazing human being he and very amazing. generous to Caltrout. He's very generous to us. So we got another guest to River. Uh, and uh, this is another very famous, you know, as Hot Creek is famous to SoCal, I would almost say this is the same to NorCal. That's um, it, yeah. And so let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that view a few times. Yeah, how um, quick is this one going to go? Well, I mean, I got to imagine we already have a winner. Um, <laughs> we are going to have a winner quickly. This do, is. Uh, do, yeah, do we, we need do to have give a, a hint? I don't think so. I think I we, I think so we have the winner. Yeah, oh, we already yeah. do. Yeah, there you go. Let's see who we got. This is an iconic Spring Creek. Yep. And really where it all started for Cal Matt Cal. Reagan, of course. Matt Reagan, yeah. yeah he spent some time uh, on that stretch. Our Scottish yeah. friend. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. Matt, thanks for tuning in. Great to yeah, have you Matt, here. Yeah, Matt, good yep. to see you coming in. That's great, Matt. Um, so we'll, we'll send you on that uh, Caltrout Live appreciation kit for you. Yeah. So, George, Hat Creek is an important part of Caltrout's history. Absolutely. I think most people understand that. Tonight, we're focused on the future. Uh, the underlying theme of this evening is future generations. And what, this part of the evening is our fun to need. And this is a really important part of the evening at our in-person event. Uh, this is one of the, the big focal points. It's where you have the opportunity to contribute directly to our work. Now, underlying this theme of future generations, um, it's important to know that this was established really before all these crazy things have been happening to us, but we believe it's now more relevant than ever. Uh, for a lot of us, it's been a time for reflection, a time to pause and think, to assess priorities. Well, this was really important friends and family, and appreciate what we have and also what we've lost. So for us at Caltrout, uh, our mission is focused on wild fish and healthy waters. But I think most of you know it's a lot more than that. It's about rethinking how we use and manage our natural resources for the benefit of fish, water, and people. It's about righting wrongs that were put in place long time ago, well before anybody realized the long-term dev devastating impacts that those things have. And it's about what these fish and rivers are telling us. They're our litmus, the indicator, that tell us what we can expect of our future. Will we have enough water for growing crops? Will we have clean drinking water? Will we have wild rivers? And will our kids? And what about their kids? So amidst all is going on right now, the need to improve California's rivers and streams is still there, and it's important now because it's important to future generations. So here is a Mike Weir exclusive uh, video that underscores that point. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Together, we are the future of healthy California waters. Together, we can make a difference. Our future depends on what we do right now. Together. Since 1971, we have been connecting the dots between fish, water, and people. Our goal is something we need to do together, conserving and restoring California's water systems to better serve our communities. Let's learn from the past to live right today and pass on our knowledge for tomorrow. We are Caltrout, and the future history is ours to write. All right, that's uh, together. Yeah. Well, I heard a lot of together, and that is absolutely right. That's a, a beautiful video there. 
Um, and again, this is the fund of need. This is your opportunity directly to support our work, our work to ensure a better California for future generations. So let's give you a quick uh, primer on how to give. Yeah, so again, if you're watching full screen, uh, exit out of full screen, leave the video still up. Below that, you will see a button that says fund and need. That will open it in a new window. So you can give there. And don't worry, if you wanna sit and enjoy the evening and hang out and check out the live auction items, which are ending in 10 minutes, eight o'clock, they're done. Um, and bid on those and give later, that's totally fine. There will be an opportunity to do that. So right. um, let's check in on how the fund and needs going. Yeah, let's quick to check in on the fund and needs. So this is incredible. Um, our fund and need, it's going crazy. We started off with a goal of 260. And we are moving forward on that quite wow. quite fast. I mean, we're already at wow. 173 and we're just trying to kick this off right now. So we really appreciate all that support. That's amazing. Um, to get us started, we had some pledges that helped seed this thing before we started. Jeff and Jonah Mazette, Ed De La Rosa, Todd Rulon Miller, each contributed 25,000 to get this thing started and it is taken off. So we really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, there was even a few others. I think we started off, like, before we even started with $128,000 yeah, well, of this it, what, it's, it, it looks like it just jumped up to one ninety eight. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. I we think just, we have a, yeah, we, we got, have, um, it looks like Kelly and Carrie Barlow came in at another twenty five. Wow. And Stuart Alsop for 15 Stuart, all incredible. right. Thank you, Stuart. Well, look. And look, so a lot, there's some huge numbers being thrown out here. Yeah. And, um, we're reaching a much broader audience, which we're really happy to do, and any amount is appreciated. Um, so five, 10, 15, 20 dollars. It doesn't matter. Anything you give helps. It's ticking up in, in, yeah. in, a, in, in amounts right now. This is pretty incredible. That, that is incredible. So that's great to see. Thank you all. And that's right. Any amount counts. I mean, yep. uh, political campaigns have been run on 10 dollar donations. Yep. We're Bernie Sanders in this thing. <laughs> you didn't say that. Did I know. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And we're an apolitical group. Let's that's just be true. clear about that this. That's very true. OK. Yeah. Um, but really, we appreciate this. Uh, we are charging towards our goal. Don't give up here. We're going to check back in this fund to need. But right now, we got to do a quick check in on the auction because we want to mention there's seven minutes left on the auction. So uh, we know that there's a lot of hot items out there. Yep. The bidding is frantic right now. Uh, let's check in on one premier. Yeah, so give an update on I, one I premier. I think this is one of my favorite lots out there Clearwater Lodge for six. Um, three nights, two days of fishing. Um, you will spend your time up in Fall River Mills uh, with Michelle Titus and her amazing guides. They'll take you on a patio boat, sunset cruise with cocktails at Ajumawi Springs, which is maybe one of the be most beautiful it's places amazing. in California. Yeah. Um, Very you'll be unique. creating memories with future generations because isn't Mike Weir shooting this Mike whole Weir experience? will be there. He'll have your own video by Mike Weir. I, uh, he, he knows how to catch fish too, I'm pretty and sure. And just fishing with Mike <laughs> yeah. Weir is tons of fun. Yeah, That's so right. I, I think you'll have a good time. So the current high bidder is uh, Edward Buckley at 9,500. So Edward, thank you so much. You still have time to go in and outbid uh, Edward. Um, so we've got, uh, with, with that being mentioned, I think we have another uh, Guess That River, huh? We do have another Guess That River. Let's go to this one uh, and see what we got. This is going to be another Val Atkinson. All the best photos are. Well, why not? Why wouldn't we look at Val Atkinson photos? I mean, photos? An another iconic California How long California is this one going to take? I, 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 I see I, a red barn. I literally put myself to sleep dreaming of that grass moving in the water every Absolutely. night. Absolutely. It's, it's spectacular. Absolutely. Are there trout in here? Uh, it's pretty abundant in trout. <laughs> <laughs> Are there big trout in here? There's big trout. Okay. Um, They're clear, covered it. Uh -oh. Clear water. We got a. It's we, a. It's the largest spring. One of the largest spring creeks in the United States. One of the States. largest in the United States for sure. Maybe and the largest. Cal Trout uh, owns a property on this river. That's true. If we need any more hints, I'm sure we have a winner by now. That that's one of the uh, uh, only. But public this is one of the points. iconic streams. It's one of the five river mm -hmm. in our five rivers challenge, and nobody has guessed it yet. How can that be? Yeah. Oh, we had one. Well, we Somebody do have a winner. We don't, in, have, we don't have a name. Well, they technically didn't. So don't forget to put All your right. name in there. And we definitely have a winner. Okay, five minutes left on the auction. Make sure if you want any of those auction items, go take a look. Bid on them now. Wine, guides, fishing trips, art. Uh, and we got a winner is Dory DeWeese. All right, Dory. Dory, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Um, you want a cow trout uh, live. Uh, survival kit, and we'll get that sent on to you. So we'll get that coordinated. George, 
let's get a little inspiration. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you a short video about I am the future, supporters of all ages throughout California. If you were playing the future drinking game, now would be a good time to quit. <laughs> yeah. Hello, we are the future of healthy California waters. I'm the future of resilient well of fish. I am the future of a better California. I am the future of healthy California waters. I am the future of resilient wild fish. We are the future of healthy California water. I'm the future of a better California. I'm the future of healthy California water. I am the future of resilient wild fish. I'm the future of healthy California waters. We, we are, are the future, future of, of a better, better California. California. I'm the future of healthy California waters. I'm the future of healthy California waters. We are the future of a better California. We're the future of healthy California waters. I'm the future of healthy California waters. I am the future of a... <laughs> of a better California. I am the future of healthy California waters. I am the future of resilient wild fish. I am the future of healthy California waters. I am the future of healthy California waters. I am the future of a better California. So, uh, George, by my count, we got three minutes left in the auction. Yep. Let's sneak this in really yeah, quick. We We're to. here on the banks of the Upper Sac, and that brings us to one of our premier events at Trout Camp with Craig Ballinger. Yeah, exactly. Normally, normally when you're at Trout Camp, you're waiting for Craig to cook up some steaks. It's like 9.45 <laughs> at night. But this time, I've had dinner at midnight there. Yeah, I have too. Plenty of times. Uh, yeah. But this time you get Loretta Keller, um, amazing chef. She will be cooking uh, dinner for you and five friends uh, for three days and two nights. Um, you'll have wine from board member sellers, um, but words aren't so much. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what this is. Yeah. Hey everybody. I'd like to invite you to join me at California Trout Shasta Springs Trout Camp out here on the fabled Upper Sacramento River where you and five other guests get to fish, hike to Mossbury Falls and have your meals prepared for you by legendary chef and Cal Trout board member, Loretta Keller. Your hosts will be myself, Craig Ballinger, and Cal Trout's executive director, Curtis Knight. Happy bidding. See you along the river. All right, that is an awesome trip on, on so uh, with my account was Craig Ballinger, Loretta Keller, and wine from board members. Upper Sack. Upper Sack. Trout Camp. Trout Camp. Great time. Flexible dates. We'll work with you on that one. Make it happen. So, all right, one minute left on the auction. Get those things going. We'll check back in, in the auction here in a few minutes. But right now, we want to touch on something that's really sad for us. A Cal Trout in our community lost a great friend this last month. Nick Graves passed away last month, and he was wildly admired. He was a respected board member. He was a mentor to all our board members, mentor to me, uh, and he was also a frequent um, advisor on all things Cal Trout. And Nick was humble, he was passionate, and enthusiastic about the outdoors, the environment, fly fishing, and especially his family. We send our deepest condolences to his wife Mary, daughters Eleanor and Christina, grandchildren Samuel and Maya. We will all sorely miss our good friend and fishing buddy. And George, one of the things that Nick was really passionate about was our partnership with UC Davis. And Absolutely. we have the UC Davis Watershed Center checking in with us here on a Zoom call. Um, one of the things that Nick spearheaded was the endowed Peter Moyle in California yeah. Trout Chair in Cold Water Fish Ecology at UC Davis. And we're really proud of that. And we have, this is a big crew, this is a big crew. Um, Jeff Mount is the host of this big crew. So Dr. Jeff Mount, Caltrow board member, what's going on? We are having a party. Uh, we're late in the show, so we're into what, two, three bottles of wine so far. But we have, we have been regaling ourselves with the contribution of the science to Caltrow. It's been awesome. And it's been so fun to work with you guys. I'm so glad you're science oriented. Well, 
Well, it's an honor to have you on our board, uh, Jeff, and it's an honor to have this great group with us. I know you have, um, we were just talking about the uh, Peter Moyle and California Trout and Jeff Endowed Chair position. I believe Andrew Ripple's with you. He is, he's right there. Where's Andrew? Where's Andrew? He's hey, right Curtis. There. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Whoa. Whoa. I'm good, how are you? Good. Good, good, there, good. there you are. Good. Keep moving around, all right. All right. Great to, see, Great to you, see you, Andrew. Thanks, Thanks for joining. For joining. Uh, um, you're, you're, this, this chair position, chair position of, yours. of yours is named after somebody really special. Peter Moyle, uh, why don't you give us a nice nice wave there, Peter? Uh, hey, thank you, Al. Nice, nice wave there, Peter. Hey, hey, it's great to see you, Peter. Great to see you guys. All right. Well, Jeff, that's a, uh, a great-looking crew you have there. Um, Jeff. Another thing you've done for us is you've contributed three different trips to uh, this evening. So can we uh, we check in on, why don't you mention real briefly what those trips are? I got one trip which involves Loretta as the cook and George is basically helping supply it. We're, we're doing, we're, we're, we're going to annoy the lips of stripers on the bay. It's going to be super fun, yeah. but Loretta's Cooking is the reason to show up, of course. Just, and, well, you have a nice boat too. The main attraction. Don't forget your boat. Barbara and I are supplying the mothership for this for this thing. But it's Car a very small mothership. It's, it's a little small mothership. <laughs> but Carson Jeffries, uh, who's on the screen here now, he can wave for you guys. He and I are going to run a Tuolumne River trip, so it's a wilderness trip. Yeah. You get to fish as well as have whitewater boating. And I think Curtis, you should guide for it. Uh, we haven't talked I'm about in. It, but you ought to guide for I'm it. In. Who's in my boat? I'm yeah, in. Yeah. Okay. Nobody, actually, nobody's in your boat, Curtis, but the, the last trip will be on the South Fork of the American River, and it's just a fun day with the venerable Peter Moyle, who will just just tell us all about the beauty of the South Fork, uh, such as it is, and, and, and there's no fishing on that trip, but it'll be, those are the three trips. Please bid on them. It'll be a hell of a lot of fun, and by the way, Curtis, I just got to tell you, what you have on your screen here is a whole bunch of people from the Watershed Center that have supported Caltrout for years. And Jay Lund and Peter Moyle and I are putting up a match tonight. Uh, and the students who have joined us and the faculty who have joined us are also matching that as well. Ah, oh, awesome. Jeff, that's awesome. We really Cheers. appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Thanks, you guys. Thanks Cheers. for stopping in. All right, take care. All right, so let's just quickly check in on the, Jeff mentioned three different trips. And look, and are these closed? They're done? closed, yep. All right, so the Tuolumne trip, Kelly Barlow, board member Kelly, Kelly. Barlow. That's going to be an awesome That'll trip. Thanks one. for doing that. The South Fork American, our buddy Fritz Durst, nice. farmer from the Central Valley, crack angler. Fritz Durst, that's awesome. We look forward to seeing you there. Look at who we're doing the bay with. I love that. Greg Who's this Rupert. guy? Greg Rupert. Awesome. Yes. Great to see Can't you wait. coming in on that, Greg. That'll be a really fun trip, too. So thanks, everyone, for for donating there and great to check in with the UC Davis community. Absolutely. And how incredible is it that, that Nick helped set up that lasting gift to California and trout? Um, yeah. it's, it's truly incredible. And, yeah. and we'll be thankful for him for, for years to come. It, it is, uh, it's hard to believe. Um, yeah. We will certainly miss Nick. Um, let's, uh, it's been a frantic uh, amount of activity. We need a moment of Zen. Moment of Zen. In times like this, I'm reminded that we're all in this together. Our common denominator, these rivers we love. The water still runs clear. Even now, rainbow trout are moving their way upstream to spawn. A moment ago, an osprey just flew overhead. Now, more than ever, we need to protect these types of spaces. So uh, you can't help but see that and say what many people say about Craig is that uh, he is the most interesting man in the world. You know, I think there's a, another gentleman, the Dos Equis guys, I think uh, lays claim to that. Um, this you mean that guy? Yeah. Well, let's, you know, he, he might have something to say about that. Let's see. Mr. Craig Ballinger, I hear people say you are the most interesting man in the world. 
I don't know. Perhaps this is true. Someday uh, we shall get together and perhaps arm wrestle for the title. Um, I don't know. But keep doing great work for California Fish and Rivers. I know that's important. It is to me. I was out today on the Otter Creek. Perhaps you can give me a private number so I can find out where these spots are. You know, the hot spots. I promise I not tell anybody. I love to fly fish. And you do some wonderful work. Congratulations for it. And uh, stay, stay interesting and keep taking care of the California fish and rivers. So <laughs> that is, that'd be a heavyweight fight. Interesting, interesting man on Craig. I'd pay to see that. Yeah. That uh, my could money's be... on Craig though. I, I mean, <laughs> you got to stick with your boy. So how about trout camp with those two? I'd do it in yeah, a okay. heartbeat. Done. All right. That next, next year, year that's going to be, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's give a check into the fund to need. We really appreciate everybody bolstering wow. this out. We've, 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 uh, we've done a lot of things here. <laughs> we, wait a minute. I thought, um, Okay, so we, it looks like we have a revised goal and a revised rate. Are these numbers correct? Okay, this yep. is crazy because when last we reported to you, we were at 260 as a goal. That goal has been bumped up to three, and we're at 317. And, and we decreased. And it's counting. And we decreased the goal because we're doing we this virtually. We're not all together, which is where we thought a lot of the passion came from. So right. being together apart is really coming through tonight, and that's incredible. We weren't sure what to expect, but. Uh, you can go our our pre pre chaos COVID chaos goal was 340, yep. and um, this is we're awesome. We're we're moving to that. So that's incredible. Uh, we downplayed our expectations, but what's been going on since we've been away is Jeff and Laura Wyatt. Thank you, Scott and Heather Tucker, Paul and Kristen Vase, board members coming in. Thank you so much, Randy Rennick, our <laughs> buddy from the Dina. Right Thanks on. for coming in on that, Randy. Mike Green with Virtue Investments. Chris and Allie Keegan. Pat Patterson just Pat came. Patterson, Linda and Andy Ash. Yeah. Uh, many more notables. Yeah. There's big ones and small contributions coming in. <laughs> We're a bit blown away by that, but we really, really appreciate it. So we'll check in one more time with this. Which, um, we hope it's higher. Yes. We, <laughs> <laughs> but that, um, um, but that, is, that is awesome. So, George, I think... Uh, what we want to do is sort of another remembrance, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, a, a man I admired a lot, um, a terrific author and painter and fisherman, Russell Chatham, yeah. uh, passed Amazing. away. And he was at our Fly Fishing Film Festival in Larkspur yeah. just last year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, with COVID, I've taken a little bit of time to uh, renew some of my reading projects and uh, I revisited Angler's Coast. And um, in one of those, uh, there, there was a piece that I think resonated a lot for tonight, and, and I'm going to read it. Those who are sensitive won't want to examine a detailed map of California's rivers too closely. For the Cascades and the Sierras, feeding Rivulet into Creek into River, pure water from the Trinity Alps, Yosemite and Sequoia are cut off, dammed, shunted, and changed, diverted into reservoirs and canals, through power plants, into pipelines, and ultimately leached through chemical farmland to seep tepidly into the delta or rudely flush down a toilet in Azusa. <laughs> Yet salmon, manifesting one of nature's most obvious wonders, still enter the vestigial river system. These, however, are not the brutes that once roamed the wild rivers, but a resource that man beckons through a series of hatcheries. They are domestic product, to stretch a term, based on immutable instinct. But there is one river left. Its tributaries gather freely and often fiercely beneath chiseled granite in the Siskiyou Mountains. Its waters flow clear as air to later fold currentless into black green pools that mirror looming redwoods and soaring osprey. Here in the Smith, the implacable king salmon come as they have throughout millennium to reaffirm the unity of our sphere, to complete the complement of landmass to sea and season to season. So, he touches on something really big yeah, yeah. there, how much our landscapes change. So that's a lot of work for you to do yep. uh, and have been doing yep. Yep. <laughs> in your team. Yep. Um, but Caltrout started fixing this problem a long time ago. 
specifically on the Smith. So explain this picture. Yeah, so we brought this up just to go back a little bit. We've been talking a little bit about the future, but you really need to understand the, just the long-term effort of, of the work that we've been doing. So this is a picture of then Governor Reagan signing the State Wild and Scenic Rivers Act bill. And right here on the background, right here is our founder, our first executive director, uh, Richard May. We all have huge shoes to fill to carry up what he, you really pick up where he, he really started with this passion. And, and this Wild and Scenic Rivers Act did really a bunch of things, but two really important things at the time. It shut down the building of Dos Rios Dam on the Eel River. And it also permanently protected the salmon. And the Salmon River, uh, uh, the Smith, I'm sorry. Yeah, the right. Smith is yeah. what you were talking about. Yeah. The Smith, our only undammed large river in California. And we can thank this legislation for really helping keep it that way. So you might say you believe. I believe. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little, um, if that wasn't inspiring enough, yeah. let's do a little inspiration. All right. I believe. Hello, I believe in California trout because I've witnessed them work with farmers and ranchers to create solutions that benefit fish, water, and people. I believe in cow trout because the restoration of Butte Creek proves that when we work together, the salmon will return. I believe in California trout because cow trout is a nonpartisan, California-based, California-focused group that advocates through top flight science, deep understanding of local issues, through deep relationships with the people who live where Caltrout works, clear-eyed policy objectives, all coming together to benefit the rivers and streams that are the arteries and veins of our great state of California. Hello, we believe in California trout because we want clean water and a healthy wild fish for future generations. I believe in California trout because I love fish. I believe in Caltrout because their incredible staff follows a science-based approach to solve some of California's most unique water issues. They bring together ranchers, anglers, and environmentalists to solve some of the most complex problems in California, from growing salmon and rice fields to taking down dams and restoring our headwaters. They protect the best, and I love what they do. I believe in Caltrout because they protect rivers for everybody, including kayakers. <laughs> I believe in California trout because I know the people that are fulfilling the Cal Trout mission. I believe Cal Trout will preserve healthy waters for California for future generations. I believe in California trout because it's an honor to work for a company whose ethos really falls in line with my personal ethos when it comes to the value of ecosystem services and protecting our cold water habitats for future generations. I like Cal Trout because we solve complex resource issues for fish, water, and people. I believe in California trout because of our science-based approach in fighting climate change to protect healthy rivers, wild fish for current and future generations. I believe in California trout because I believe in Craig and Curtis and Tracy and George and Mikey and everybody else that makes California trout so positively impactful. Corn. We are live. Hey. <laughs> I believe. Yep, I do too. Okay, That's that is here. awesome. It's so cool to see people of all ages uh, throughout the state. Uh, I believe that is really, really gets, gets me going. Absolutely. Um, do you believe? I absolutely do. That's okay. why I'm here, Curtis. All right, all right. Yeah. I just want to double That's why check. I always show up. All right, we are, we are in the home stretch right here. We got one more guest, the river, and this is an important one for a couple reasons. It is, it's very important, it's, and it's a difficult one, which is why we're giving away a fly rod if you answer this one correctly. And there will be some clues. We'll, we'll try and make a few clues yep. in here. So let's, let's take a look at it, because I, I wouldn't guess this river. I wouldn't know where it was uh, if I didn't know. You call so that a river? It's a trickle. Yeah, uh, okay. But it uh, represents some pretty important habitat in California, doesn't it? It does. It's, it does. It does. Uh, a particular part of California. Yes. <laughs> How's that for a clue? A southern. <laughs> a, most. Southern, a southern part of California. Um, this, is, uh, this is a river that uh, is very important to a particular run of fish. Yep. Ooh, we got oh, one? We got one already? Let's see if it's right. All right, let's see. Well, let's do this. Yeah. Why don't we talk about the project that's happening on this river? And that might be a good clue. If people are paying attention yeah. to what Caltrout's doing, 
might indicate. So hopefully you've seen us talking about this, and this will help uh, if we don't have a winner already. Sandra Jacobson, our South Coast Director, is spearheading a project on this river uh, that is going to take out this fish barrier right here. For Southern Steelhead, this is a migration barrier, so that gives you a clue it's in Southern California. And we're going to remove this barrier and place a bridge in there. And that is going to be a big endeavor. Uh, we're well on our way to building up the public funding, the partnerships, to be able to make this happen, it's going to be north of a $15 million project. This is a great example of some of the large-scale projects that we're implementing right now. So Sandy and her team, thank you so much for doing that. Absolutely. And we do have a winner. We do have a winner. Kelly, Kelly Cook. Cook. Incredible. Yeah, right, Kelly. Awesome. Nicely done. Awesome. Santa Margarita so, River. We will get you your fly rod. It's a RL Winston 5 Kelly gets a fly rod. rod. That's yeah, great. It's fantastic. Nice job, Kelly. Um, but you said something really important there. You talked about how you're raising uh public funds to, yep. to solve a lot of these problems. So the donations that you guys are giving in the fund to need are, are leveraged, what, seven to one, eight to one, yep. a lot of times to get those public funds need to those funds accomplish first. these yep. projects. So, so important that you do that fund to need. And should we check in on that? Or should we go to a moment of Zen? Oh, it's a hard call. Let's, let's go let's moment go, of Zen. Let's take a little breath. All right. Let's check in with the master and then we'll start talking I'm numbers. In. I don't think any of us would say this has been a short winter. We seem to be living in a traffic jam of info and a lonely highway of facts. In these times, all I know is fish don't care. Especially not when we're in this level five <laughs> Sitting here reflecting on the state of the world, I have to remind myself the mother nature always bats last. And never is a more appropriate time to flaunt my buff than now. All right, uh, the master has spoken so uh, for a final time. So uh, I, I'd say he might be stealing the show. I, I can't you're wait. You're doing a pretty good job. I can't too. wait for COVID to be over to sit around with a campfire with <laughs> oh, Craig Ballinger I know. again. The days, oh. the days. All right, let's check back in with uh, George's favorite thermometer. Oh. <laughs> it's it's been it's just been full. Oh my God! The whole time. Are you wow. kidding me? So we keep setting this goal. This goal keeps changing, and we keep exceeding it. So this incredible. I mean, thank you, everyone. This far exceeds our expectations for this first ever virtual gala so we really uh this means a lot to us this is uh this is really incredible um we also want to check in with some auction item winners yeah and the fun and eat is going to keep going yep. so don't forget that it's going to keep going even past this event so absolutely so don't the, let up the thing is about the fun to need the the need's never going to stop it's always going to be there and so we hope you continue to support cal trout this isn't a one-time ask this work will continue to go on and curtis and his team uh, need funds to make this happen and continue to grow and accomplish bigger projects so speaking of that um, we've closed out a couple of incredible items uh, so thank you guys for bidding hi um, so first we'll talk about patagonia the one the only dave vela Aha, Dave, uh, nice. Won, uh, the Patagonia trip. So uh, Dave, thank you so much for your support. You've always been so supportive of Cal Trout. Um, and I can't wait to uh, get that invitation to head down there with you. Uh, looking at, I think it was for two. Uh, oh, and I know the guy on Trout Camp. <laughs> well, wait, 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 really quick though. Yeah. Patagonia can go twice. So oh, if, right. you were, if you were second in line uh, and Dave outbid you because he's just that good and quick, <laughs> yeah. um, you can get it too. So if you're interested, we'll be in touch and we'll try and make that happen. Um, it would be huge for us to be able to, to double uh, the funds on that. So that would be incredible. And, and now Trout Camp's very similar. Roger Cornwell, this is more of our Central Valley partners down there. So Fritz is going to the South Fork American. Roger and crew are coming to uh, Trout Camp on the Upper Sac. We've spent time with Roger and crew on, on, the, on, Roger and on the Upper on Sac. The and we have the Zoom thing coming back in, but we'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 
But thank you, Roger. And this is Trout Camp. We can sell this again. If you got outbid and you're in second place here and you still want to go at that winner's price, we'll be in touch with you. Absolutely. Maybe even three times. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Loretta. Loretta, bless you. You've been so mm. supportive to Cal Trout and offering this item. Um, and we have some winners who you know. I do. Jeff and Jonah Mazette, uh, one of our watershed sponsors. Fantastic. Jeff and Jonah, I think they're on... Uh, in Stinson Beach right now, oh, in a, in a beautiful spot. I know. Jealous. I know. Jeff loves to go out there and, and catch uh, catch fish right out there uh, on the stripers surf, and so butts. Let's go, Jeff. Yep, we got to talk. Yep. Yeah, Jeff's a good guy. So Jeff uh, and Jonah, and that awesome. can go twice as well. Yeah, you are really going to enjoy that. And Loretta has been really gracious about that. So the second place winner, uh, you can you can have that trip again at the at the same price. Fantastic. So thanks, Loretta, Jeff, and Jonah. Um, I think what we're going to do right now is move on to, uh, we are rounding out the evening here, and we are going to check in with all our Zoom party people and say one last goodbye. So everybody, Zoom. we want you to wave. So everybody wave. Thank you for coming. It's awesome to see you here this evening on our first ever virtual gala. Uh, so let's move over to the next screen. We can't fit you all we on the screen. Too There's many, so many, too many supporters. There we are. So, hey. so wave everybody on this screen. You don't know which screen you're on, do you? What? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually waving to them. Oh, you're wave. just waving to a TV. All right, wave. <laughs> but everybody out here needs to know we're waving to them. It's you, very confusing. You handle that. I'll handle okay. this. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's go over to the next screen, and everybody can wave. Uh, all right, so they want to see. Hey, Jared popped up again. Jared, yeah. are you bouncing? Around? He must be bouncing around to other people's He's rooms. He's campaigning. There. All right, Jared's <laughs> campaigning. That must be it. All right. Hey, thank you all for joining by Zoom. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Take care. Thank you everyone. All right, that's our Zoom parties, and somehow that all worked out. A diesel didn't even move once. <laughs> diesel didn't even move once. Um, Let's, uh, let's start to close out this evening. We wanna thank again our sponsors. A big shout out to our watershed sponsors, um, Oric and Mitch Zookley, Scott and Heather Tucker, thank you so much. The Landreth family, it was great to check in with you this evening. Linda and Andy Ash, likewise, that was a great group on the Zoom call. Yeah, and thank you to all of our trip providers. Yeah. If, if you're in business right now, this is extremely tough times. And so Clearwater Lodge, Chocolate Lab, Lab Expeditions, Lost Coast Outfitters, TNC, Tom and Annette Counts, and the Klamath River Club, Paul Vase, Reggie Collins uh, for their Tahoe home, uh, Jeff Mount for his adventures, Henry's Fork Lodge, um, other guides, AC Fly Fishing, Straw House, uh, Straw House Lodge, Jimmy Morales, Dave Neal, John Fischetti, yeah. Chuck Reagan. That's um, amazing there's literally list. too many it's to mention. Incredible. Evan Praskin. Um, yeah. We could go on and on. And so um, I'm so grateful that you guys um, found it to support Cal Trout tonight. So thank you. So finally, your support sustains us through this coming year. And it really is amazing what you've done for us tonight. These uncertain times, it means more than ever to us. So thank you for coming. Enjoy the campfire and have a great, great year. Hopefully we see you on the river soon.